Hi friends, Mr. Niemeyer with you today. We're going to do a lesson on rhythm. We're going to be identifying different types of rhythms. Mainly we're going to focus on quarter notes that get one whole beat, eighth notes that get half of a beat, and sixteenth notes which get one fourth of a beat. We're basically talking fractions here, math, you know, but it's going to help us uh, make cool music. Let's get started. So before we start making some cool rhythms, we have to really understand how to talk about rhythms. Uh, most of the music you ever listen to is written in what is called 4-4 four, four time. And that, that top number is kind of a giveaway. It lets you know how many beats are in each measure. Most of the songs you listen to are in 4-4. Four, four. So we would count 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that steady beat, right? Some music, if it's not written in 4-4, four, four, it's probably written in 3-4. Now, there's a lot of different uh, time signatures, but most of the music you'll ever listen to is either 4-4 four, four, or 3-4. Four. In that case, you would count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That'd be your steady beat, considering that these are all quarter notes. They get one whole beat, okay? What if we were using eighth notes? Remember, they're half of a beat. Well, what we use... We use the word and to go in between the beat because this is one and that makes a whole beat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And. Okay. It's just an easy way to say uh, that extra eighth note in between. If we're using 16th notes, well, they're one fourth of a beat, so we can fit four of them in one beat. And in 4-4 four, four time, we would count 1-E and 2-E uh, and 3-E uh, and 4-E uh, and uh, what? So let's break that down. The first beat, we would say what beat number it's on. This is in the first beat, so we would say 1. The second of the four 16th notes, we would use the letter E. The third one, we use and because... You think about fractions, half of a half is a fourth. Have you gotten that far in math yet? For each eighth note, there are two sixteenth notes. So for this eighth note right here on one, it's one E. And for the two sixteenth notes that fit in this one eighth note for and, it's and up. So if I were to count that, it would sound like this. 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a. All right. You, if that didn't make sense, you don't have to worry because we're actually going to use food to help us practice these different rhythms. You ready? So here we go, friends. I have this food rhythm guide here. And what I'm going to do quickly is just read through all of these using the rhythms that are provided. And then we're going to go into individual ones and really talk them out. Follow along with me. Hot dog, grape soda, apple pie, hot fudge sundae, coconut shrimp, rice krispie treat, Chocolate, strawberry, cinnamon, oatmeal, milk, and cereal, avocado toast, cheese, ravioli, strawberry, ice cream, chips, and guacamole, tater tot, casserole, pepperoni pizza. Fun stuff, huh? Let's keep going. So I just started to pick two random ones and put them together, and I want you to think about how I would count them and then say them. So... Quarter note, quarter note, one, two, pretty simple. If we think of this whole thing as a measure, four beats, let's say we're in four, four time, then beat one, beat two, these eighth notes together would be beat three, these eighth notes together would be beat four. So it would be read as one, two, three, and four, and hot dog, hot fudge sundae, one, two, three and four and hot dog, hot fudge sundae. Okay. 
Let's try another example. Let's think of this as all one measure of four, four time. This quarter note is the first beat. These two eighth notes represent the second beat. The third beat would be these two eighth notes because two eighth notes make a quarter, right? And then our quarter note on the fourth beat. So it would be like this. One, two, and three, and four. Grape, soda, apple pie. One, two, and three, and four. Grape, soda, apple pie. So far, so good. Let's try a couple more. So here we have uh, some 16th notes. And it's kind of tricky with 16th notes because you have to know where they land on a beat. That tells us if we use the number of the beat, the letter E, and, or an uh. So these two eighth notes, one and. Since these two 16th notes start uh, the beat, beat two, we have two E, and here's another eighth note. Since we two 16th notes equal an eighth note, we don't have an and a, uh, we just have an and. And then we have that same structure right here, over here, starting on beat three. So three, E, and. No a, uh, because there's no other 16th note. And then beat four. So this would be one and two E and three E and four. Milk and cereal, coconut, shrimp. One and two E and three E and four. Milk and cereal, coconut, shrimp. All right. All right, for this one, we have an eighth note starting on the first beat. So the next available beat would be the and of one. And we have two 16th notes, so we're going to say and a. Uh, that will end out that entire first beat. Quarter note on beat two. Two eighth notes for three and. And uh, beat four has the same structure, so it has four. And since it's an eighth note, we're not going to say E because it's part of this. And then we got their 16th notes and a uh, to round out. So this would sound like this. One and a two, three and four, and a Rice Krispie Treat, chocolate strawberry. One and a two, three and four, and a Rice Krispie Treat, chocolate strawberry. Finally, we have two eighth notes for one and, four sixteenth notes, two e and a, four sixteenth notes, three e and a, and, a quarter note for beat four. Here we go. One and two E and a three E and a four. Chips and guacamole avocado toast. One and two E and a three E and a four. Chips and guacamole avocado toast. There you go. All right, that was a pretty heavy lesson, huh? It gets easier the more you practice, just like anything. You got to start slow and then slowly speed up when it starts to make a little more sense. What I want to challenge you to do is pick any two of these and just say them over and over again to a steady beat. I'll tell you, though, there's one in here that doesn't equal two beats. Down here, tater tot casserole. That's actually four whole beats. That's its own measure. So all the rest of them add up to two whole beats. But play around with it. Just have fun with it. See what you come up with. I look forward to hearing what you guys have. Take care.